Yo, what's up guys? Atlas here with Attack Showcase for Fortune Ladies, so yeah. Long time coming, I guess. Anyways, we opened a pretty good hand in this duel, not gonna lie, this is pretty much the optimal hand. I can't think of a much better one, honestly. Not gonna lie. Um, so we just do the full combo into the usual Soul can play. We kinda struggled getting a level 6 here for the Soul can play, but as you can see, we will now. Yeah, we'll go for Spellbook of Secrets, into Knowledge, into drawing the level 6 we need. Now, the big negative of using Chi here is that your opponent also gets to draw, but uh, I mean, it's fine. If we're able to unleash a full combo, this board's hard to break, because honestly, we have the Zolken up, we have the Crystal Wing up. If they try to get, activate a monster effect, we can use Scrap Iron Sigdal, which is a spell speed for its counter trap uh, monster negate, which will set itself back, so Zolken will trigger and we get another Crystal Wing. Now, the biggest shape is that we couldn't get Secret Village active here, else we would also lock them out of spells, and that would have instantly won the duel. Now he at least gets to attempt some plays. Uh, keyword here is attempt, because really, what's he gonna do here? It's not gonna be enough. I mean, nice 3500 attack, but yeah, he probably forgot he can't kick over Crystal Wing right now. Since it's a level high level monster, we will gain his attack. Uh, top deck the Gale Sorcerer, which might seem nice, but keep in mind that we don't have light in the graveyard. Fortunately, light is banished. So it's currently not active. We could have finished him here. Huh, misplay from my side. Oh. Let's just call it toying with food, I guess. <laughs> Scrapping Iron Signal. Setting up the Beals for our next turn. Cool play. So I think next turn we're going all out. Yeah, we are. Just showcase, mostly showcase as well. I was kind of toying with my food here. I mean, invoked Outledge, eh, not that bad, right? <laughs> At least not for this deck. I mean, realistically, he can't really out sport anymore unless he gets into like a uh, Dark Rune or more. That would be a bit of a problem. But yeah, he's just twice some stuff, but it's not really doing anything. So he creates a big chain reaction of traps, we don't have trap negation at the moment. Um, so we will have spell negation, gets rid of one of the crystal rings, okay, let's care, here's an abyss. Scrap dragon, Gale source now the secret village is live, so no more spells. Um, yeah, at this point, he's... Uh, <laughs> if, if he somehow survived, he would be in a big, big, big trouble. Three monster to the gates because of the signal, abyss to the gate, anything. And can't activate spells either. Yeah, good luck with that one, kid. So, up against Zoo in this duel, Zoo Dirac. Um, yeah, I mean, I just do my thing here. I have an okay opening hand, far from optimal. There's a lot of, there's a lot better opening hands than this. This is like the minimum, if that makes sense. We didn't open any of the good extenders, the signal or the secret village here, I think. Well, we opened terraforming, which gives us access to the secret village, but we didn't uh, get a spellcaster. Looking... Well, oh wait, yeah, we have souls there, so actually we did. Uh, but yeah, here, this is the new Zodiac play, in case people haven't faced Zodiac in a while, this is disgusting. So go for Bobo, attack directly, no effects get triggered here, now we can go into the AA Zeus, nuke the entire field, okay. We chain Crystal Wing, he just chains Zeus again. Even if we... The only thing that really would have helped here is Signal. Um, Iron Signal's a counter trap, so you can't re react to this. Because even if I have like two Crystal Wing, you can just chain it again. It's disgusting. It just blows up the entire field. And then he can do a Pot of Everwish, which is like a Pot of Crete in this situation. He just shuffles back 5 XGs. Oh, jeez, that's ridiculous. Certain Judgment's my normal summon, which really, really sucks. Prevents from doing anything. Um, he has the Tanky again. True Blade. Yeah, I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Bit of an overkill maybe to go for it again, but I mean, it makes it possible for us to do anything. Wonder why I didn't set the strike, maybe I was actively planning on using the effect of Zeus. Yeah, we tried to use souls and stuff, we go for the knowledge, but it's not like we had a realistic chance to come back here. I mean, yeah, the ultra stacked against favor, he goes for the Vespinet, which is just enough to finish it off. So yeah, that were quite some duels. Now keep in mind, all of this was done with Fortune Ladies. Yes, let that sink in for a moment. This was not some crazy meta deck, this was Fortune Ladies. Now, one could argue, well, actually you're only running a few Fortune Lady monsters. 
Yes, but these are the key starters. Um, so yeah, don't hate on me. Hate on the fact that the new Fortune Later support I'm locks you into Synchro, so in order to get big bosses you need to go into Solkin. I mean, hey. Blame Konami, not me. <laughs> Anyways, um, the key starters for this uh, strategy are um, Lady Light and Lady Past. That's also why we've Jack in Hand, which we didn't see, which basically searched one of them. So the way to go off with this deck is you need Light or Past, doesn't matter which one. And the way to get Calling, this searches any Fortune Lady cards, so either Calling or one of those two if you somehow didn't open them, at the level 6 extender. That's basically what you need to go off. Now, Fairy Chi is quite nice, it's both play it's if very large and special it. Both players will draw one card. And keep in mind that if you're going for the combo, you will trigger Fortune Lady Water drawing two cards. So the odds of opening one of these, eh, kind of high. You could add in like an additional copy of Chi if you find yourself breaking too much. I thought it was fine, but you know, if you think it's needed, there you go. And that just sets up your Tolkien. Tolkien will go into Crystal Wing. Signal has really nice synergy. I already showcased it. Whenever you set this. Um, Whenever you use it, it'll set itself again, triggering Zolkin. Um, Secret Village, we just run two cups with the terraforming, tint your pack more. Same story with spellbooks, one secret with two knowledge, tint through the deck. Um, especially knowledge is really good at souls, souls get rid of its affected raw cards, so you can still use knowledge to get rid of it. Or you can use knowledge on light, light effects, special summon light from deck. That's actually a legal play. Keep that in mind as well. Um, and then we can use Fortune Future on a banished Fortune Lady Light. It's always live, so you get three of this. Whenever you open the combo, it's live, and that's just another draw too. It also synergizes with Allure. If you open Allure and Future, you can just Allure your past away. Then use Future, boom, four draws. Surely fixes your hand. Um, yeah, easiest to most reliable level six spellcasters. They're all spellcasts for Secret Village. Means they can't just get rid of it. And if we have like, um, if we get the ideal board of Signal, Secret Village, Crystal Wing, and Solkin, you're realistically not going to break through it with any deck. You can't use Dark Ruler no more, Secret Village prevents spells in general. You can't even use Droplets, because even if you discard the Droplets to negate a spell, you cannot activate spells. I mean, they're not negated, you cannot activate them, that's different. That's why Secret Village is really devastating. Um, yeah, just general maximized consistency in this deck. The build focus on just putting out the most optimal board turn 1. I don't know why this panelist is always disabled by default, it just does that. Uh, but yeah, the entire focus is built to just um, turbo out the board, turn 1, and hope you survive. Theoretically, you could add in a second Solkin and a second Water to ensure you have a more better grind game if needed. Um, for extra like run a Solkin, Hot Rat Abyss, because you can turn uh, Beals into Abyss from Omni Negate. If you find yourself going into the grind game, it's quite strong. If you're up against something like Eldritch, this is recommended to go into. There's also the Croker Sour if you just want to draw, or if you want to destroy cards, you know. It's there. Beals are Sulkin Tarked, I mentioned it before. Three Crystal Wings, it's the best negate to go for. Scrap Dragon gets rid of some stuff, um, can be nice. Michael also gets rid of stuff, but banishes at the cost of life points. Sulkin Tarked as well. Uh, Arcanite and Every are just regular Fortune Lady combo targets. If you somehow find yourself in a position where um, you summon past and you have one of the level 6s, so you can just go into Every or Arcanite, pop multiple cards. Um, Core Dragon, second one, just in case you somehow. Need it. Um, this might not be a thing you can actually. Theoretically, you could just take one Coral Dragon out. This was uh, remade for my build where I ran to it, Solkin. Utopia Beyond and Bouncer has rank 6 options. Turn 1, you can actually go into rank 6. You are locked into Synchros after using Culling, which you will always use in your combo, but that's just for the turn you use it. The turn after it, um, you're free to go into one of these. This will negate monster effects as well and deal damage. And this just turns all your opponent's monster attack into zero. If your opponent controls a strong monster. So that's the deck profile and um, replay video part of it. Now of course the thing most of you have been waiting for, probably. The wall rating system. So going first, I think it's fair to give them a 9 out of 10. Yes, they might have some consistency issues, but if they're able to, play, to set up the ideal board, I can't think of many decks that actually can out that. Going second, I give them a 5 out of 10. They're able to play through some disrupts with right hand, but it's a bit rare. But if they're able to get through the disrupts, they can probably break your opponent's board. That's why I give them a 5 out of 10. They could do a lot better, but possibilities are there. Especially if you sideboard cards like Lightning Storm, um, Dark Ruler No More, it becomes even easier. 
Now, since Siwa is going to give them 7 out of 10, they're setting up at least one Zolkin. Happens on a very consistent base. The extenders, beyond that, the, uh, the, they, they fully rely on luck. So that's why I'm giving it a 7. They are consistent, but their optimal plays aren't that consistent. Versatility, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. There's a clear game plan which you just follow every game. Theoretically, you can have some options on the side, depending um, on the situation. Zolkin is a toolboxy card, but most of the time you're just going for Crystal Wing and doing the same thing over and over again. So I think 5 is fine. You can do other things, you just don't do that. Stamina-wise, I'm giving them 8 out of 10. There is a nice kind game in this deck, under the condition they don't destroy a Zolkin. Once your Zolkin is gone, you usually are in trouble, but... If you're able to protect your Zolkin, this is one of the best grind games ever because you can just keep setting uh, traps, keep getting free synchros. I think that means you have a nice grind game. So, looking at them in general, as a total score, I'm gonna give them 8 out of 10. This is a very high rating, I know, but I think they deserve it. Um, they're just that strong of a deck. Fortune Ladies in general are a really, really strong deck. They're only really stopped by something like hand traps. Which screw over all combo decks. I mean, I was just gonna rate all combo decks lower because of hand traps. Possibly could do that, but eh. So in general, Fortune Ladies are quite strong and underrated deck, and I'm one of the few that can actually build and pilot them. But you know, after this watching this video, you should have a decent idea of how the deck works, and maybe you can try it out yourself. Try out these fun ladies from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 uh, With that said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Atlas signing out. Peace.